Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Brett, it's great to have you here. Today we're going to be going over how to upgrade your Joomla version. This may be a bit different than what you're used to. Uh, Joomla 4 has somewhat changed the way that upgrades work and I think it's a, it's a good upgrade. It's a lot easier to see in your dashboard when you have an upgrade available. It also gives you a good idea of the risks involved in updating. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is you should go to your dashboard and log into your administration panel. Now this should be easily found at your website slash administrator. Once you're in, you'll see down here, you're gonna have something called notifications. Now, as you can see on my screen, we've got a Joomla 4.1 version available for update. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is gonna take you through to the Joomla pre-check update page. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the required settings for making this upgrade. So generally what you're going to be looking out for is under your checked section you're going to want to see all of those little boxes saying yes with a green update button. Now if you do have any of these out of sync uh, and you're not familiar with the technology the best thing you can do is go talk to a developer uh, you can contact me on my website and I will help you diagnose those and upgrade your website for you. So if you click down here into your recommended settings, you're going to see a bunch of basically Joomla settings which should be turned off or on and you'll see the recommendation for those. The final check is to go under your extensions. Now because this is a fresh copy of Joomla, I don't really have to worry about this. So for many people, you will find a list of extensions that you have on your website under here. Now it is really important to make sure that any plugins or anything you're using on your website are compatible with Joomla. If you do upgrade and things do tend to break, then you could potentially cause a lot of harm to your website. You may make it crash, you may come up with PHP errors, or a whole list of other things which you don't really want. Now, a lot of the time when you do upgrade and if you run into these conflicts, they can't easily be fixed. So you may be waiting for the developers of the extensions to upgrade them for you, or else you get a developer to fix the issues. So once all the settings are checked, you're just gonna want to click update. It's, it's super simple. So basically this page is gonna appear. Now on this page, you're basically gonna see um, just a little thing, a little checkbox which says I'm prepared to update my site and this means that you've made a backup, you've, you've checked which um, update channel you're running the update through. So once you check the box, just click start update and from then Joomla should start running through the update within its version. These Joomla updates could take a while so you're looking anywhere between maybe like 20 seconds to sometimes 5 to 10, 15 minutes. It really depends on the power level of your server, how much you know RAM, memory, and everything you have, and how quickly your site runs. So, so when the update is complete, you will see a page that says your site has successfully be, been updated to Joomla 4.1, 4.2, whatever version you're at. Your next thing is going to check any overrides. The great thing with Joomla 4 is when you have templates that hold a bunch of override files, the system will scan through and actually output a, a message to you to make sure you check them. A lot of the time, people will update their Joomla versions, and this happened a lot in Joomla 3, to a new version, and they never updated the core files that they were overriding, so a lot of functions may have changed, deprecated, code a lot of people ended up with out of date template files even though the core of their Joomla was at the latest version. So to check these files basically you just need to click into the override check and generally here you will have once once you click into the template that you're using you will have a couple options up the top here and what you're going to want to do is click into the updated file. Now well updated files 
Now I don't have any here because I am only using a fresh installed version of Joomla. If you do have any files that do need to be checked, you will have a list here. So that does it. So what I've shown you today is how you can upgrade your Joomla version within Joomla 4. So if you are trying to upgrade Joomla 3 to 4, this is probably not the video for you. But I will be publishing a video in the future to kind of show you the, the steps that I would take to upgrade these Joomlas. Now a lot of the time people can't do it because of conflicts with plugins but I will create a video so be sure to subscribe for that and you will see it in the future. Now if you're wanting to learn anything more about SEO, uh, Joomla, WordPress, design or if you want to see some cool development videos where we have a bit of fun and create some really awesome things then what you're going to want to do is subscribe to the channel. Um, if you do need any help with Joomla or anything else all you got to do is go to my website, I'll put the link on screen now and there will be a link in the description of this video so please go there if you are interested in having any help with your own websites. It's been a pleasure having you guys here, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, it's been great having you here and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video so do subscribe and I'll see you then.